Oh, no way. Is that the Prime Minister shopping at Bunnings just like a regular Australian? Oh, yeah, and there's his bride to be Jody with a bag of potting mix. Oh, they must be doing whatever it is that one does with potting mix. He's so relatable, he's got my vote. Oh, look, Jody, a sausage sizzle at Bunnings? Who would have thought? One sausage, please, sir. Uh, two bucks, mate. Hope you've got some change for my good friend Banjo Patterson here. No, nah, mate. No cash. Read the sign. Card only? What? That's so unorthodox. All right, well, let me just put that on the credit card. Hang on a second. This says $2.05. This is a scam. Hey, mate, that's just the surcharge. A surcharge? What the hell for? I don't know. The big bank's charges for the FPOS, and we, we just added to the transaction. Oh, that's ridiculous. We're in a cost of living crisis, apparently. Us regular Aussies are struggling, so every cent counts, I'm told. Mate, there's nothing you can do about it. Just tap and go. Oh, no. I'm the Prime Minister, and I'm best friends with the big four banks. So I'm going to go down there, and I'm going to stand up for the little guy. Because this isn't just about a surcharge on a sausage. This is about the principle. Mate, either buy a sausage or off. Yep, okay, sorry. Yep, I'll be right back. Listen up, big four banks. I've got a bone to pick with you. Hey, guys, look. It's Anthony Albanese. Hello, Elbow. Please take a seat right here in the palm of my hand. Thank you, Combank, but I'm afraid this is not a friendly meeting. I just got stung with a surcharge for a sausage. Ooh, he's angry. Look who found himself a little backbone. All this over an itty bitty one and a half percent surcharge. It's a small price to pay for the convenience of a cashless society. I'm starting to think you guys are pushing this cashless society thing just so you can rake in all the fees. What? No. Those surcharges only amount to what? A measly four billion a year? <laughs> Nothing. Times are tough, Albo. We only made $32.5 billion in profit last year. Between us. Poor Westpac here only profited $7 billion. It's pathetic. So embarrassing. It's not easy under Albanese. I'm doing the best I can. Aren't all these new immigrants I'm bringing in signing up with you and giving you all their money? Well, yeah. You know, we could always do with some more. Oh, but they're already at unsustainable levels. Come on, Albo, please. No, I don't want to be under your thumb anymore. Huh? What's gotten into you? Where's this newfound moral fortitude coming from? I don't know, but a few moments ago when I was at Bunnings, I experienced what it was like to be a common man for a fleeting moment. And it sucked having to give you big four my money just for the privilege of using card. Well, I won't be bullied any longer. I'm putting a stop to this cashless society right now. Jody, come and pick me up from the banks. Oh, Jody, please. You're really killing a moment for me here. Fine, fine, I'll get an Uber. Insufficient funds? Where's my money? It's not your money, it's our money. But you can't just steal it. Of course we can. Why do you think I'm called NAB? It literally means to steal. I never would have thought the big four banks were so obsessed with money. This is about more than money. This is about power. Power you can enjoy too, Anthony. I'm listening. Going cashless gives us total control. No economic privacy. We can see and stop any transaction. We can freeze accounts, just like our friends did in Canada. He who controls the money controls the world. And that he could be you. So what do you say about a cashless society now? All right, we're a cashless society now. One sausage, please, sir. And don't worry, I'm happy to pay a little surcharge. Yep, just updating the FBOS machine with the latest CrowdStrike patch and... Oh no! It's a blackout! How am I gonna pay for goods and services? Why do we keep cash as a redundancy measure? We're all gonna die! Ah! Well, I feel like a silly sausage. <laughs>